Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is attorney Sharp Raleigh and today we are going to to do our famous uh, predictions for May 2016 of the visa bulletin and now uh, as you can see here I'm on the I'm on the April visa bulletin and uh, there was not great movement uh, for India. We're going to especially focus on India on EB2 and EB3 because the other countries is pretty much moving uh, well so I should say except China and India but let us uh, stick to India where the priority date right now is on November 8 2008 and of course we are uh, and the acceptance date is still on the 2009 uh, uh, situation of as you can see here the 2009 July so based on all our calculations it seems May might see an improvement uh, and uh, we are expecting a six-month movement, moving the 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 the, the calendar probably to uh, what we call um, uh, May two thousand nine on, on on this, and then also here acceptance also we might see a six-month movement, moving the to uh, to the beginning of two thousand ten. Again, that's just an expectation, and we might be wrong, but I base my calculation. Looking, if you go on the website of the um, of the website of the USCIS, here it is. You click on this, and I have already done that here. And you open this. This is an inventory that was done and published um, uh, for January 2016. As you can see here, these are how many I-45 cases are pending with the USCIS at this point. 2014. If you look at it, let's go for India because we're talking about India here. Uh, this is for China. I'm going down here and go to India. India right now, 2014, uh, only 16 is pending. 2015, uh, 358. So 407 cases only pending, which is very much a reduction compared to if you look at the previous month. So based on that and based on the movement, uh, usually after six months, you see a change, a, a good change. So we are hoping that there will be a movement to 2000. 2009 on uh, on India moving up to May 2009 April or May 2009 and also uh, on the uh, acceptance date also might move to January 2010 or December 2009 hopefully we're going to see some good changes on the May 2016 visa built in and also it would be the new fiscal year so we were ex we are going to expect some more um, more advancement for India especially as for China uh, it seems like it will also move uh, a little bit more consequentially because it's already 2012 if you could like uh, EB2 and interestingly even e EB3 is faster than EB2 for China and here if you look at the the China um, um, acceptance date 2013 and 2015 on EB3 which is awesome for, for people from China uh, as for the EB3, we are expecting maybe th three month movement. So this might become the acceptance date here, wh which I am on right now, might move to uh, around September 2005. And here we'll, we'll move around, around uh, for India, we'll move around uh, three months later, so around October, uh, September 2004. So all this seems to be possible good news. But again, these are just predictions, and oftentimes we get it wrong, but of, sometimes we get it right. But rec uh, recently, things have been stalling, if, even after they put that new system of acceptance. So let us see what we are talking about here. And if we base it on the pending inventory, we might see a movement, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, things are going to get better for a lot of people, and, um, and some people will be eligible for their green card or filing at least their EAD with the adjustment of status. So anything I told you today, ladies and gentlemen, is for educational purposes only. You should not act or refrain to act solely on the information provided. You should contact an attorney if you have any questions. And anything, uh, if you like our, our video, please subscribe and comment. And uh, also pass it to your friends and share it. Thank you.